All right, good morning, Alta Realty Group agents. This is Kevin Lauren. I'm the Director of Training and Marketing here. And today we're going to be joined by Allison Jackson. And Allison, can you join us or do I have to make you join us? <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can just promote you. All right, Allison, you may speak. Oh, good morning, how are you? Doing great. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Uh, I think the last time you came on the Wednesday webinar it was what in it was either uh, it was last month. Um, yeah, but, you definitely. know, COVID time is sort of a blur. <laughs> <laughs> no, right, and holiday too. So right, exactly. Well, well, uh, we really are, are excited to have you back. And so today we're going to be talking about content. So social media content and email content, all that kind of stuff um, is just so important. And as you know, we're always looking for reasons to you know, engage with our clients. And so Allison is going to be uh, going through a, a lot of that with us today, right? Yes, indeed. I have a few things I'd like to share. All right, perfect. And then also let me make sure that we have, uh, and I know Bill Seiss will not be joining us today. But let me uh, bring Travis Bretton on as well. Travis is our corporate broker. Good morning, Travis. Good morning. How's it going? We're doing well. So uh, Travis has a, a, a really good background in social media, and so he'll be a great person to bounce all this stuff off of. So uh, Allison, why don't you go ahead and let us know what we're going to be talking about today. And uh, if you can go ahead and share your screen, you're welcome to. Okay, give me just one moment here. Mm -hmm. I was going to try to hop on video, but that doesn't seem to be working today. Oh, I know how that is. Today's <laughs> the first day I've got my video working. <laughs> I've been trying to troubleshoot, honestly, for like three weeks. <laughs> I, no, it's just, it's not letting me. I, was gonna, I think I have to be co-host or something to do that, but um, yeah, I probably look better in my photo anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's, let's see. see. All right. That's, all right. I think I might have switched one of the settings. Uh, the joys of live webinars, right? There we go. And you should be seeing my screen now? We are. Thank you, Allie. Okay, excellent. And just let me get the task bar up here. Yeah, I still can't. I still can't get on live. So um, that's okay. On video. Uh, let's see. I do tons of Zoom meetings, but I most of them are um, not webinar style. So bear with me here. All right. Okay. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for having me on. Um, and uh, yes, today the topic is content marketing specifically for real estate agents. And um, so I'm an escrow rep. And so you might wonder, well, what is she doing talking about marketing? But I've actually spent a great deal of my career in marketing, both in large advertising agencies and at Low Marshock, I actually did uh, handle the regional Prudential real estate affiliate marketing campaigns, um, as well as working for large companies and small companies. But most importantly, real estate's in my blood and I come from a real estate family. So I really understand the work that you do and that marketing is something that you use as a tool to help create um, clients, to keep in touch with clients, but it's not your sole purpose. And so that's actually one of the points that I want to really drive home today in this discussion and is why planning your content is so valuable because it saves you time when you get busy focusing on the business of real estate. So what is content marketing? Here I have a definition of content marketing as well as the next level that I recommend we take it to, which is integrated marketing. So Ooh, I like that. I, that, I, that just spoke to me right there. <laughs> integrated marketing. I love it. Yes. Well, so often people think about, uh, think about content marketing only as digital marketing. Um, particularly in the social media area. And yes, that is a big part of content marketing and that's what's given it its name. But honestly, if you look back in the Don Draper days, content marketing has been around forever. I'm talking about, um, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, the 50s going back all the way. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the old advertising days where content was king and it was all about really copywriting is at the end of the day, 
And then it sort of evolved into what's called content marketing, particularly in social, where we have memes and graphics and, and you know, little infographics. Um, but what's important about taking that to the next level with integrated marketing is that your right hand knows what your left is doing and that it really takes this messaging that you have and brings it across all the different platforms, digital as well as more traditional marketing. And that's what's really going to drive home more impact for you. So why plan your content? Uh, well, first of all, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to implement when you start getting busy. And we all know as the vaccines are getting distributed, more and more people are going to be comfortable listing their properties, going to properties, and things are slowly going to start opening up. So now is really the time to put together a complete comprehensive content plan so that it is turnkey when you are really cranking it in the real estate world. In addition, consistency in your messaging is very important so that when somebody sees a social post that you have, um, say on Instagram, they see a graphic, then they see something in Facebook, that it's saying sort of the same thing. It's got the same voice, the same branding, same thing as your email drip campaigns and your postcards that you might send out or your door hangers. So you want to have consistency in your messaging that the third time they see something from you, even if the other two are from a different medium, it relates and you get that power of what's called frequency in the, in the ad business. Yeah, I mean, Allie, we, yeah we yes. talk about this all the time. You know, this is like uh, you're, you're, you're preaching to the choir. You're in the pulpit preaching to the <laughs> choir because these are the things that we talk about on a, almost a weekly basis. You know, the, the importance for consistency, the importance for, you know, having that you know, a three-pronged at least approach to marketing where you're doing email, you know, social media and, you know, uh, you know, text marketing and, you know, uh, newsletters and mail pieces. So we love all of the things that you're saying. And just so you all know out there, I'm not a ringer for Kevin. Um, the, <laughs> right. these, are, these are best practices. <laughs> And um, so this is, this is a, a, an overview I put together separate and yet it's consistent because they really are best practices in the industry of marketing and they translate very well to your real world in what's going to make your efforts most effective. Yeah, we know this stuff works. It's great. <laughs> it's so and ma maintaining this frequency is important because when you want to change up your content and you want to have consistent content across your channels, you don't want to bore your target market. If you're saying the exact same thing over and over, people will see it. Oh yeah. I mean, you're going to get a touch point, but they're going to gloss over it. You're not going to be engaging. Good and that's why content planning is so important. You know, you can, we're going to look at a calendar in a little bit where you can have seasonal relevance and that's going to increase your engagement because that's the kind of things that your target market is interested at this point in time, back to school in September and holiday time and giving around Thanksgiving. And these types of things are going to increase engagement with your target market. So the net net is you just, you want to stay top of mind. Because if you're top of mind and you're engaging with relevant content, when the real estate need comes up, your prospect is going to think of you or your prospect is going to know someone who's looking for an agent and they're going to refer you because you're top of mind. So I just want to throw this out there because I know you're, you didn't come into real estate be, to become a marketing professional. And there are resources available. Many are free. Um, some have a small fee associated with them. And uh, there is one that I just want to throw out there that is called List Reports. Um, I subscribe to it. So anyone I invite can access everything on List Reports for free. And uh, what's nice is um, they, they have a new thing called shareables, which are infographics that they, they have a new one every day. So if you like it and you want to use it, um, you have subscription access to it at no charge. In addition with list reports, there are marketing kits and there's a property website that is also included. So when your listing goes in the MLS, you can go into these marketing kits and you can create flyers for opens, which yes, we will have again someday, um, or even for you know scheduled appointment walkthroughs, instead of printing out that MLS sheet, that most, it is not 
consumer friendly. I mean, agents know where to find what they want to find, but these marketing kits are much nicer. And they talk about the schools and the restaurants in the area. Um, you can have postcards and flyers just sold, just listed and things like that. Um, as I said, as well as a property website. So all of that's free. So um, my email is in the um, in the chat there. So feel free to reach out um, or Kevin, I can just connect with you. If I will gladly proactively invite every agent in your brokerage to access list reports for free if they would like to. It's, yeah, it's a great idea. Um, and, I'm, and there's going to be many. I'm sure you have many wonderful tools available, but that's just one. Um, okay. There's another one. A lot of agents I know that really like something called Keeping Current Matters, and that is real estate related content. Um, they subscribe to it. And so I, I, I don't subscribe to it because I'm not an agent, but I've heard very good things about it. And uh, that provides content, content that just sort of keeps you a little bit top of mind. So you're not having to post something every day. Um, right. it, so it allows again, guys this is, these are all little places where we can borrow content and use it in our outbound marketing, right? Just another, another, what is it, quiver in your? Another arrow in the quiver. Arrow in the quiver, thank you. I, I knew there was a term something like that, some hunting term. <laughs> There's a quiver involved for sure. <laughs> I'm more of a gatherer, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one called the Paperless Agent. And again, it's just a resource. Um, they, it, it, they have a lot of social media content and information and tips um, for free. So it's just another one to check out. Um, Realty like those guys. Time. Those guys are great. I like, I like Paperless Agent. Those guys are good. Okay, wonderful. And uh, there's another one called Realty Times where um, in their resource center, they have a kind of a nifty newsletter if you don't have one and don't have a template. Um, what I noticed about their newsletter template is they have populated content, but there's also area for you to put your own, which I'm going to get into why that's important in a minute. Um, so that's just another resource. Um, there's something called the lighter side of real estate, which is social media. Um, a lot of agents just enjoy, I enjoy it because it's funny. They're funny memes. Um, and sometimes they're very appropriate to share out to your client base as well. So that just might be fun for you to take a look at on stressful days to have a ha ha. Yeah, I can relate to that. Um, uh, there's another tool called Canva. Um, it's an easy design tool where you can create your own graphics. If you are remotely comfortable with PowerPoint, you'll find it's pretty easy to use Canva. It's very intuitive. It's free. Um, they also have an upgraded version if you want to pay, but there's a whole lot available on the free platform. And then, of course, there's Kevin. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I know you have a plethora of resources that are available. Um, and uh, I, I, I haven't even scratched the surface of what you offer to all of your agents. So uh, none of this should trump what Kevin is presenting or made available to you. I know they have lots of great content. So, you know, don't be crazy and not use what your brokerage is providing you. Yeah, I mean, this it's all, um, you know, it's great to, to take little bits from here, from there. Um, there's no wrong place to, to get content from, right? So, you know, that's a great point. You know, use all of these resources, you know, give, use the content I provide for you guys on a monthly basis, use infographics, you know, it's all good stuff and it all keeps us top of mind with our clients, which is the point, right? Absolutely. So uh, now don't get overwhelmed by this. I, <laughs> I populated it um, just to give you an idea of what some content can work, how it can look when you're planning out your own content. And, um, and with some of this, you might find from the tools that I just shared, um, existing material that you can plug in or you can create some of your own. Um, there are a lot of different templates and ways to plan. I'm going to share this out um, after the meeting. It is, it is just an Excel spreadsheet and it okay. is not locked. So you can go in there and tweak however you want it. So for example, if you don't like having it broken out in four messages, this is set up like a one, one key message a week. 
is an example here. Maybe you prefer to break it out by what you're going to say in your different channels, one for social, one for um, direct mail, one for um, drip campaigns. So you can definitely tweak this and adjust it as you like. You could even break it out and do it as dailies. You could go across and add tabs where you actually drop your content in. So everything in the whole world in, in content is all in one place for you. So um, feel free to play with it. But I went ahead and set this up to just make it kind of simple. And so we have um, months on one side kind of color coded based on the season. Um, cold for winter, spring, you know, and green, uh, warming up nice and hot in the summertime, and then uh, getting into the fall colors for autumn. Um, then the next is relevant dates that are going on each of those months. So, um, you know, in January, New Year's, Martin Luther King, opposite day, uh, February has Super Bowl, Valentine's Day, Groundhog's Day, President's Day, Mardi Gras, Chinese New Year's. So some of these are going to resonate more with you than others. Um, sometimes for some of these dates, you might just even want to put a social post out that says, um, hola, happy, uh, um, happy Cinco de Mayo. Right. Um, so, yeah, pardon? I love this. Yeah. So, you know, you can put the specific dates in here or not, but um, another thing that a lot of social media experts recommend is actually picking a monthly theme. So I just randomly put some themes in here that, um, so for example, um, February, I picked a love theme, obviously playing off of Valentine's Day. And so you can have different messages each week of the month. Um, food you can't help but love because honestly, you can never go wrong with the foodies if you're talking about food. It's a great way to engage people. Um, and, and so you can have the, the love theme with chocolate dipped strawberries or ask people what's your favorite um, love recipe and get people engaging, people responding to your, you can even put recipes in your newsletter. Um, who do you love can be a theme, um, romantic places to travel. And then of course you wanna tie real estate into this as well as loving your home and things you can do to bring out the love in your home or show your home that you love it by doing regular maintenance. Uh, another month to just take a look at here, say May. Um, so there's various activities in May. I chose since it's spring to have a theme around growth. Great topic would be the growth in your home values right now. This, this light inventory has really created market demand. What is your home worth offering a free valuation, uh, a free competitive market analysis for them? Uh, gardening made easy because you, you also just want to keep things light. Uh, financial strategies, how to grow your finances. And of course, there's growth with family additions. So um, this might be a great time to talk about a, 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 an ADU. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> if, if some of those family members are moving back in with you or what have you. So um, I, I can actually make available the, the sample content as well as the blank template if, if y'all think that would be helpful. Um, okay. I mean, the more the better. <laughs> yeah, the, these were just, you know, like, like brainstorming last night. Um, October, you know, there's a lot of great things in October, and I zeroed in on scary things, and here I am in escrow, so I thought, okay, I want to do some messaging around cyber fraud prevention, and uh, that would be a great thing for you to send information out on, you know, pr protecting your earnest money and things like that, so, um, but also scary things, like wouldn't this be fun to have graphics of home improvements gone wrong? Um, that's something I see a lot of those visuals on the, um, some of those real estate sites, that are hysterical with, you know, someone who has like two toilets in one bathroom. <laughs> you can ask people like, you know, what, what's the ugliest home improvement you've seen? Or, you know, what's the scariest remodel? Um, and encourage people to put photos in, do a competition. Um, so something along those lines, um, you can get community oriented and say, and post something about all the haunted, haunted house tours that are going on in the San Diego area or in the Orange County area. Um, you can have a, host a scary costume contest. And particularly if your farm is in a strong family area with a lot of little ones, have them send in the pictures of their little ones. And, you know, this is one of those things where everybody gets a trophy, but, um, you know, just some ideas on how to play off some things. Um, yeah, Kevin, do you want to awesome. add anything on that? 
Yeah, I mean, all these, yeah, yeah you guys go ahead and put in the, in the chat if there's anything cool that you can think of. But, you know, this is really, you know, um, a starting point for you guys. So Allison has done a great job brainstorming all kinds of stuff. So hopefully you guys take this and you add your own, you know, you have your own ideas. But this is such a great starting point to help you get your thinking going the right way when you sit down. Because I think everybody really should be doing all this, this content planning. This is great for the year. And then, you know, once a month, you actually sit down and actually do the posts, you do all this, the, uh, the, the, the content uh, production. And so this is just a great way to sit down, figure out what the heck you're going to do. And there's no excuses. We have everything done for you. So uh, really cool. I'm really digging this. Yeah, when you have the plan all done, like Kevin just said, so you got the plan all done. So you know what you need to do. Um, and I don't know how many of you are good at time blocking, but it's very valuable. And <laughs> to and, and Kevin, have you done any programs or education to the group on time blocking? Yeah, I mean, probably nothing formal, but I harp on it all the time. The, the need to block out time and to control your day. You don't just, you're not just, uh, you know, getting dragged around by your clients and all that kind of stuff. You block out specific periods of time to do specific things. But, you know, it'd be great if you have a great uh, tutorial for us, you know, maybe that'd be a good one for you to come back and uh, talk to us about time blocking. Yeah, maybe an upcoming on, on time blocking and also working those numbers backwards. And I know um, Travis put together a really good program on that. And so, um, you know, maybe the three of us can connect. So I'm, I'm actually working with the tools that you're providing to make it really turnkey for your agents. But the time blocking, like figure out when each week, like carve out that hour and plan this out and make sure that it's scheduled in your day. You won't have, you can do it when you're tired. You can do this at, at you know, 8.30 at night when the little ones are in bed and you're not going to be talking to clients because you've already planned out what you're going to do and say. So it's just a matter of posting. So that makes it really easy. So just, you know, block it out at a time that works for you. So now um, getting into something extremely important in this whole content mix is UGC, which stands for user generated content. And this is the most important part of content marketing, particularly for someone in a regional level like you, particularly someone who focuses on what we call relationship marketing, where you're engaging with a specific group of people over and over. It's all about the relationship, either creating one and lead nurturing or already having one and keeping in touch. It's very powerful. This is content created by you that you share and better yet, it's so engaging that your network shares it. So say you feature some clients of yours and their new home and you're giving them a key to their home and you tag them with their permission, of course, and then they share it. So that is super engaging. That's testimonial material there. Um, it's personal. And so it's the most engaging out there. It's about your relationships. It's what we call organic and it integrates you into your content. So, you know, all this, um, um, keeping social matters and, 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 you know, all the agent materials that are out there, the generic things, home improvements that give you the best bang for your buck. That's all great. And it keeps you top of mind, but this is what keeps you really engaged. And you want to have one or two on, on social, a couple of these posts a week, because it's really important for people to know you. They, you know, you know the old adage, what is it? People don't care how much you know, they want to know how much you care. And so this is really building that relationship so they feel you have a friendship with them. They trust you with one of the most important investments of their lives. So here are some examples of user-generated content, your original content. So your real estate activity, of course, um, your new listings, 
doing just a, it doesn't have to be slick. In fact, people sometimes like it more if it's not. When you just take your phone and do a quick tour of a brand new listing that you have, especially now during the pandemic, um, get that out there. Uh, when you have a property in escrow, um, have a big sign in escrow and, and you know promote that. When, you've, when the property is closed, congratulations to your buyers, to your sellers. Show them with their permission, show the property. Um, also provide market updates. This is gonna position you as the expert. So let people know what's going on with inventory, what's going on in, in your county and uh, what the uptick is, what the average housing prices are versus last year, versus last month, um, various news tips from you. And then of course, the most important is really interacting as you yourself your family, your friends, events, funny stories. So just an example that I threw out on my Facebook is it, it took a second. I finished trimming my Christmas tree. This was probably my ugliest tree I've ever had, but I still shot a picture of it in my little, little condo. Um, and I just said, got her done. And I, it, there was a lot of engagement and likes going on with that post because it was from me. It's in my home from me to you. Um, and then also you can, so, so that's just, you know, having a photo, you can have text info. This was e really easy. Um, I didn't have to go to Canva or anything. I just picked a background and wrote that there is something even more contagious than COVID-19. It's called kindness and it's worth spreading. And these are the types of things that people will comment on, they'll share, they'll like, it just keeps you relevant, but it's from you, it's from the heart. And so also graphics, so you can repost things that really resonated with you. You can share memories that pop up. You can develop some things in Canva. And the best of all is live video. Um, video content recorded or live video. You can you can stream from Zoom if you like. If you're you know um, uncomfortable holding the phone and talking live, uh, you're going to dislike yourself live on video more than anyone. Everyone else is going to think you're great. They're going to laugh. They're going to like your personality shining through. They're going to like your voice. Don't be uncomfortable about being on video. I know easier said than done. I hate myself on video, but it's important and it's valuable. And I, I can't reiterate enough that that is a really great source of user-generated content. You care to comment on that, Kevin? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> like, first of all, uh, video, um, you know, we all have to just step outside of our comfort zone. Um, the CEO of GoDaddy says, get outside of your comfort zone, stay there, <laughs> so, <laughs> which I love. Um, so, you know, I think that's a really, really good uh, point. So video is something, first of all, you can create it anytime you want. You know, you can do video uh, at, at any point of the day, right? At any point of the day, you can do a 15 to 30 second video and they should be quick. I mean, little video clips, right, Allie? Oh yeah, little, little TikTok. <laughs> little guys, exactly. Just, you know, nobody's got, uh, on social media, people have, the attention span of a nap. So you have to just, you know, give them little bits and that's all they want. And that, hey, that's great. And I'm on neck to the next one, right? But you're staying top of mind, you know, and if you do this consistently, like Ali said, you know, this is just the the thing that gets us to, to stay top of mind. This is it, the content. The video is so much more engaging than a flat photo as well. Wow. Simple. Yeah, I, I, I posted one video, just, it was, it was New Year's Eve. And my dog lifted his head up and started howling and his angle of his head was the same angle as the Christmas tree. So I just, just, it was like a 15 second snip and I said, holiday howl, you know, yeah. and, and people like that. And you can also post that, you know, you can, you can post it in different places in different ways. So I, I just can't stress that enough. Yeah. And then one more comment on the, on the live video, you know, Facebook, you have Facebook live. I mean, so you can be broadcasting a quick 30 second video, you know, 15 second video through Facebook. And so you don't have to, you know, take the video, then post it. You're just doing it right through Facebook and you're all of your people see it right there. Yeah. And you don't have to be a YouTube expert, but you know, there are experts that can help you with that doing something like that. Maybe a regular. <laughs> yeah. I can help. <laughs> there we go. There we go. 
So, you know, and you can have regular, even a, a monthly update or something. You can do a market update or you could do something together with someone who has some expertise in finance or, you know, um, finance. Absolutely. So it, it, you know, a five minute check in with your, you know, with your, uh, you know, a contractor or a five minute check in with, your, you know, your plumber. And he's going to talk about something that just came up. You know, hey, this is something to watch out for. It's easy stuff, guys. And I bet Bill would love to join in and do something about cleaning up your credit, love getting ready to buy. Of course. So, you know, and you can do this stuff, Zoom, you know, take, you know, go to Zoom, do a Zoom recording just like this, and you can do an interview, five minute interview. So even in COVID, you know, if you're trying to social distance, you can do all this stuff digitally. And that's what we're all about is making sure that you guys have the, the digital tools. So yeah, good, good point. And, you know, as things reopen, I've got to say it, it'll never, it'll never be what it was because after a transformational year, good, bad, ugly, and a lot of it was ugly, but we've all picked up a lot more digital skills and there's convenience. And so while we're all excited at some point of getting together and seeing each other one-to-one -one as humans, we're, we're also finding a lot of convenience with remote working and, and comfort level and watching content on videos. So some of this is going to be here to stay. I don't, I don't think there'll be a death of Zoom once things open up. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, I mean, we, our brokerage is uh, embraced, you know, digital and embraced uh, all these tools since our inception. And so we're poised to continue this. And so, of course, this is what everybody needs to do is take a little bit of this this new digital world and once you know everybody's back to, to normal a little bit of of a of, of more facetime but a lot of the digital still in place right absolutely and so just to summarize here it's very important to plan and integrate all of your marketing content now is a great time to do it um, leverage what you can that's out there for free, um, or some things have sort of a nominal fee involved with them. Um, I don't recommend subscribing to eight different things at the paid level because it can just get quite costly. And frankly, you've got, then you have so many different voices going out there. So really recommend you find one or two of your favorites and just leverage those as well as your own content. Um, that template can help you create something that's consistent in your communications. So I recommend you use it, um, adjust it as you need to. And if you don't have wild, crazy, mad Excel skills and you're struggling with that template, just give me a ring. We'll do a Zoom session and, um, and I'm, I'm here as well to help you, um, even if you want to brainstorm some of your themes or what have you. Um, anytime we can just set up, set up a Zoom call. Make sure you include your user content, your user, whoops, I got a dyslexia there, your user generated <laughs> content there. But you know, that is that is personal from you. And it's critical that you're always top of mind. So that's the most important thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be authentic. And it has to be done. Um, now, you know, just get out there, let people know who you are. Don't worry that your video is not slick. Just worry that it's you. And that it's authentic. Yeah, that's and, a great call. Great call out. Yeah. So uh, again, feel free to reach out to me anytime. And I just want to mention um, who we are with Escrow Options Group. We are one of the largest independent escrow companies in Southern California with 12 different branches across San Diego County, Orange County, Riverside, as well as LA. We're SOC 1 and 2 certified, and we are regulated by the Department of Business Oversight. We are the only escrow company that has actually been trained in security by the FBI. So bring us on board and we will take care of you. As I say, a smooth escrow is right up our alley. Uh, so if we can help you in any way with NetSheet, uh, definitely give us a shout out. We'd love to take care of you. And if you have any questions in the marketing realm or anything I discussed, please don't hesitate to give me a call. And thank you so much for this opportunity to drop in on your sales meeting. Of course, Allie, we always like having you. So uh, Travis, any quick takeaways if you're still with us? We may have Sorry, I was on mute. Oh, that's okay. It happens to me all the time. <laughs>
Um, no, as usual, Ali, you know, brought in a lot of good content and, uh, you know, I definitely like the, uh, the part about being authentic. I think that's one of the biggest driving factors and, uh, if it's worth successful with, you know, driving business through social media is just, uh, being authentic. Yeah. I think honestly, that was probably one of the, the biggest takeaways for me. It was, you know, just having that, uh, you know, having that authenticity, I think is a great, great call. So. Um, very good. Um, really appreciate you guys being on the line with us as usual. And, uh, you know, next week we'll be, uh, re we'll have Bill Sites back with us again. And so get out there, make it a great week and make it a productive week. And we'll see you all, all next week on the web. Thanks a lot. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Allie. Have a great day. You too.